Hey guys, Bobby here, and today I wanna to talk about a subject that might be a bit controversial in the wedding film world, and that is outsourcing your wedding video editing, and why I think most wedding filmmakers should be doing it. Now if your gut reaction is, hell no, I would never do that. There's no way it would make sense for me. Believe me, I was right there with you not too long ago but I took the risk, tried out a handful of different options so that you don't have to. Now, to be clear, there are definitely people with such a unique style that it would be difficult to outsource. And if you're like me, there are definitely weddings that we are a part of that I have some creative ideas for, or I just know that I have to edit it to nail the story that I wanna tell. But outside of those scenarios, I think outsourcing your wedding films can not only decrease your stress levels, but actually increase your profit, all while delivering a product that is completely in line with your quality and what your clients expect. In fact, photographers have been outsourcing for years and video is really just starting to warm up to the idea. So this video might be a bit long, but I wanna go over a bunch of things, including four common fears I think we all have about outsourcing, what the process looks like in a general sense working with an editor, and ultimately why I think this should not be such a taboo subject and rather something we should all seriously consider. When operating your own business, it's really important to think about your strengths as a business owner and also what you enjoy the most. Some people love shooting or editing or selling or something else. And in order to continue to enjoy that, I found that it's important to collaborate with others and to focus on what excites you the most. You also need to consider what you're good at and what tasks you are efficient at. If you're an inexperienced editor or you get constantly distracted from your editing process like me, Outsourcing may assist you in making that part of your business more profitable and more enjoyable. I'm not gonna go over it too much, but Wedding Film School actually just released a free calculator online that helps you understand your profitability as a whole and your hourly wage essentially. And while the numbers will be different for everybody, I encourage you to check it out, it's specifically looking at the section that relates to the opportunity cost of outsourcing your editing. So in my research, I have had films edited by a local editor and three different remote editing companies, two of which I wanna highlight in this video. I was incredibly grateful to have both No Backlog and Archaeus Creative hop on board when I reached out about this concept. They have both been extremely gracious in sharing tons of information with me, hopping on multiple phone calls and allowing me to see what it looks like to work with them. More on that later. Though I think it's important to say that this was a collaboration, but I wasn't paid or being sponsored by either of these companies. But first, I thought it'd be helpful to talk about the fears that we as wedding filmmakers have when it comes to outsourcing. These are the things that worried me when I was considering making this transition, and as confirmed by the guys at both No Backlog and Archaeus Creative, I was not alone. These concerns they see near daily. Probably one of the biggest concerns for me was the fear that the film just wouldn't feel like it was mine. Like my clients would be able to tell that someone else had their hands all over it, and I've gotta say, with any editor in the beginning, there's always a bit of a learning curve when they're getting to understand your style, your likes and dislikes, and what makes you unique. But man, when you put that work in up front, I was getting cuts back that literally nailed our style. The reality is these editors are hyper aware of this concern and they have systems in place to get the first rough cut as close as possible to your style. From the audio choices to the pacing, the clip selection, and the overall story arch, these films felt like I had my hands all over them from start to finish. And the great part is that if there was a shot or two that I didn't like or a little piece of audio that I didn't want to be in there, a quick revision got that taken care of. And of course, if you want to do just a little bit of touch up at the end, you're given the project files and you're able to do so. Another big roadblock that I saw to outsourcing my editing was the costs. I was fine with paying somebody, of course, but I assumed it would be a large percentage of what I charge for a wedding and I didn't want to spend that. I was actually floored by how reasonable most editors were, especially for the quality of work being offered. You're gonna find a big range, of course, and it'll depend on exactly what you need done, but believe me when I say, if you're running a profitable business, the cost of editing is actually quite doable. Not only that, but outsourcing can ultimately allow you to make more money, which I'm gonna talk about a bit later. Something else that always worried me was the consistency aspect of it. I know I can create a film that is my style because it's mine, but I don't wanna be passed around a group of editors, sometimes getting gold and sometimes getting a terrible film. The companies that I'm partnering with in this film and really the type of company that you'd be looking to partner with uh, employ a team of editors in-house. So that means they are trained appropriately and there is direct oversight on a daily basis. And most importantly, they get assigned to your account, if you will, and you keep the same editor from project to project. 
This allows them to literally grow with your brand and consistently work in your style, meaning that the first rough cut you get back is gonna be closer and closer to 100% as time goes on. Another concern that I had was I didn't wanna be locked into anything. I'm not a fan of monthly payments to begin with, and I don't wanna be wasting money. Not only were the rates more reasonable than I anticipated, but everything is on a per project basis. So if you don't wanna edit a specific film or you just can't keep up with your workload, you can outsource as necessary. This can be a huge advantage versus employing somebody on your own as there's no requirement to be handing over work, but you can do so as you see fit. On top of that, you aren't locked into any specific service. All these editors offer highly customizable solutions to whatever you might need, whether that is a short or long highlight film, doc edits, sound design, color grading, social media teasers, even down to what system you're editing in. So now let's take a look at what outsourcing actually looks like. I'm not gonna go into extreme detail with either company, nor am I gonna compare and contrast. They're each different and great for their own reasons. And I'm also going to show you guys a piece of an actual edit that they each did for me of the same wedding at the end of this section. Both No Backlog and Archaeus Creative have easy to navigate websites and plenty of info available to you to answer some basic questions. Once you choose to move forward, they each have their own onboarding process that allows you to fill out some basic details and get them footage in a variety of ways. After that comes one of the most critical steps of the onboarding process, especially when it's your first time working with them, and that is to help them understand your style. There are a variety of questions for you to fill out, and I also had a bit of a blanket statement already prepared on what we like and don't like, how we approach our edits, what's important to us, and some technical things. And both companies actually allow you to jump on a phone call to chat about what's important to your studio, which I thought was really awesome. There are also areas to be a bit more specific with each wedding specifically, uh, that's being sent, giving details on things that should or shouldn't be included, maybe important backstory that they might not know at first glance. Then of course you need to choose what you want the editor to create and they each have a whole array of offerings to really dial in exactly what you need from them, whether it's a doc edit only, a highlight of varying lengths or other edits. You can see how customizable it is, allowing you to essentially choose how much of a role you wanna play in the edit. After everything is submitted, eventually you're going to get a first cut back. And the great thing about this is that as you continue to grow with these companies and with your specific editor, they're gonna be closer and closer to a finished product. And even in my first wedding with each of these companies, I was actually super impressed with what was sent back. There were absolutely changes that I needed, but from the start, it just felt like it was one of our films. And the revision process itself is super easy. And of course, it's a critical step to get exactly what you need. You can watch along with the film and you put in notes that get assigned to a time code automatically that your editor can then look at and make the necessary changes. This makes that process super streamlined and easy for both sides. After you get picture locked, depending if you wanted color grading or other things, you're gonna lock those as well. And then the finished product, as well as any related assets like the project file or other things are gonna be delivered to you through a download link. From there, again, if you wanna make a few little tweaks, you are of course welcome to. And if there's any part of the process that you for sure want to have a hand in, like color grading, for example, the great thing is that you can have them just not do that and then you can do it on your own. I also wanna be sure to chat about the impact that this can have on your business, but I'm gonna share about a minute each from the film that came back from both No Backlog and Archaeus Creative at the end of this film. So be sure to stay tuned for that. So of course, all this has to make sense for you and your business, but I really do think that from a business perspective, for most people, it makes sense to strongly consider outsourcing your films. You can reduce your backlog or with proper planning, never even have one, allowing you to hit all your deadlines and keep your clients happy. It's a great feeling to get your edit back two weeks after the wedding and be able to kind of sit on it a little bit until you're able to review it. And then you're delivering in maybe four weeks, which can be a real competitive advantage and even a selling point. You can still maintain as much control as you'd like in the edits and you aren't tied into any type of contract. But perhaps most importantly, I believe outsourcing editing can help you continue to enjoy this career path and allow you to be more profitable. Instead of burning out trying to edit every wedding in a given year, I can hand off some of that work and make sure I'm taking care of myself, my stress levels, while still being able to book the amount of weddings that I need. I also get to focus my time on the areas of my business that I enjoy the most and am the best at, while also devoting more time to things that are important to me personally. Many of the things on the business side are things that directly impact my bottom line, allowing me to be more profitable. Plus handing off some or all of my editing actually can allow me to book more weddings if I want or focus on booking more commercial work because I know we aren't getting backed up in the editing stage. 
I know that is a ton of information to consider, but I hope you guys all found this helpful. Again, many thanks to No Backlog and Archaeus Creative for helping me out with this video and for their insight. I'll be linking both of them in the description below if you want more information on outsourcing some of your work to them. And I'd love to continue this conversation down below in the comments if you have any questions about my experience with this or the topic as a whole. And up next, enjoy a little snippet from each final film from each company. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. There is a lot we can learn from their relationship and their story, and about the five most pivotal words that started their journey together. You're walking on campus, you see Lindsay, you stop your buddy on the football team and say, who the hell is that? But Kevin had reminded them, guys, this is the girl. This is the girl I was telling you about back in college. What Kevin had told his siblings about back in college, and I quote, this is what he had said, if that girl, Lindsay Kite, ever gives me a shot, I'll marry her. Lindsay, thank you for giving him that shot. Lindsay and Kevin, what you have done today is created your kingdom. And Lindsay, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, you will be an equally good queen. Stoic, even-tempered, supportive, and above all, willing to tell the king when he's dead wrong. Kevin, please take care of my best friend. Love her tomorrow more than you did today. Continue to be her protector, her warrior, and her better half. I can't wait to watch you grow as a married couple and also watch you raise those prince and princesses who are going to be six foot one and very athletic. Two are better than one. These are five words that perfectly encapsulate the bond that you're witnessing here today. Kevin and Lindsay's journey it started from the training room was really where they started to experience the sparks flying first. They also wound up having classes together and one day after class, Kevin brought Lindsay a piece of paper. That piece of paper had his phone number written on it and he said, just in case you need a little help studying. <laughs> the timing though never worked out quite right for them to date when they were in college and their first date wasn't until Kevin moved back to Minneapolis. That day, Kevin knew how high the stakes were, as did Kevin's siblings, whom he asked for repeated advice on how to act, what to say, and by Lily, our sister's count, Kevin tried on four outfits before leaving the house that day. <laughs> but Kevin had reminded them, guys, this is the girl. This is the girl I was telling you about back in college. What Kevin had told his siblings about back in college, if that girl, Lindsay Kite, ever gives me a shot, I'll marry her.